A Geneva cam turns continuous rotational motion into intermittent rotational motion. So let's take a look at how to create one of those. And I already have the parts uh, created. Let's start by assembling each of them with a pin connection to the geometry I already have in my assembly. So I'll click the assemble button. Let's start off with the wheel. And from the user defined drop down list, I'm going to define a pin connection. And let's select this wheel axis, and I'm going to pick the axis going down the center of it. And to eliminate translation, let's use this datum plane and one of the assembly planes. So that's good. I will hit the middle mouse button to complete component placement. Now let's assemble the crank. Hit the assemble button and grab the crank. And for this one, again, we are going to do a pin connection. And I'll select the other axis in my model and the axis going down the middle. And let's select the datum plane front. And we have a crank plane that places it in the right location. I'll hit the check mark. And let's turn off our datums. I don't need to see them anymore. So let's unclutter the screen. And test the motion. I'm also going to use it to move the crank closer to where I want it to be. Yep, they move the way that they should. But now we need to define the cam portion. And so I'm actually going to create four separate cams, one for each of the slots in the wheel. So we go to applications and then mechanism. And here we have cams. And so for the first one, I'm going to select, if I choose auto select, it should get the entire loop around there. And then for cam number two, oops, for cam, click OK out of there, forgot to do that. All right, now for cam two, I am going to select the surfaces using the control key. Click OK. And then for properties, here's the important part. You want to check the box to enable liftoff. And I'll click OK out of there. So that's the first one. Now I'm going to repeat that process for the other four locations. So let's create another cam and auto select and get that loop there. Now for cam two, selecting surfaces, okay, properties, enable liftoff, okay, and again, just gonna do it two more times. Cams, auto select, auto select is just saving me one mouse click. So, sort of cancels out. I'm not saving any mouse clicks. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Enable liftoff. And for the last set of cam surfaces. Okay. Use a little query select on that one surface. Properties, enable lift off, OK. All right, and so now let's test dragging. That's good. And let's put in a motor, servo motor going to put it on this axis over here. I'm going to define velocity and for the profile details, I'm just going to do constant velocity of 360 degrees per second. Hit the check mark. Now let's go to our analysis over here, edit definition, and right now it's going zero to four kinematic analysis. That looks good. Uh, let's change this. Uh, let's do 16. 
That's a good frame rate. Motors. Make sure it's got my motor in there from start to end. And we'll click run. And it's still running. Oh, there we go. 60 some percent. But that is how you use cams in order to create a Geneva cam where we're getting our intermittent motion created. And it's done. Click OK. Uh, here we have our playbacks and could right click on it and choose play. And from this dialog box, I just want to point out that if you're playing it, crank up the speed, hit the play button. Oh, come on, you can go faster. Let's stop that. I just want to point out from the capture button, this is where you can generate an MPEG movie of your mechanism. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.